An underwater death lake has been discovered by a team of scientists that's 3,300 feet below the surface of the Gulf of Mexico, off the coast of New Orleans. It's being called the Jacuzzi of Despair. Hello, hello, this is Ayo, I'm Charlotte, and thanks for clicking on this video. If this is your first time here, welcome to the channel. This is Inform Overload, your YouTube source for news. If you would like to connect with us on a more personal level, all of our links to our social media accounts are posted down below in the description of our videos. But for now, why don't you hit that subscribe button and let us inform you. Okay, so you're probably wondering, how is there a lake at the bottom of the Gulf of Mexico? Well, at some point in the Jurassic period, between 200 million and 150 million years ago, there was a shallow sea where the Gulf of Mexico is now. As a result of the movement of tectonic plates, this sea was separated from the rest of the ocean. The isolated sea began to evaporate, leaving nothing but the salt. Then the sea flooded again and connected with the oceans, and then the salt mixed in with the seawater, dissolved a bit, and formed clouds of brine that just sort of hung out on the sea floor. It's basically like a brine sandwich. On the top you got the Gulf of Mexico, and then in the middle you got the nasty grimy pool consisting of bacteria and salt deposits, also known as brine. And then underneath you got the sea floor. Okay, maybe it's not a sandwich. It's more like a like a brime Oreo that you've taken the bottom off of. You should also probably not eat this brime Oreo. You will die. The Jacuzzi of Despair was discovered with Hercules, which is a remotely operated underwater robot. I guess researchers didn't know how freaking weird it was at first because a year later they returned to take a closer look. But what they saw was basically a bizarre, tragic wasteland of brine and death. The Jacuzzi of Death is a circular pool that's 100 feet in circumference and about 12 feet deep. It's got this rim that sticks up from the bottom that's keeping the brine within the pool. There's a bunch of live crustaceans stuck along it. There's also little brine waterfalls as well in certain places along the rim that show the brine pool draining, kinda like lava. According to Eric Corday, who is one of the scientists who discovered this underwater lake, you go down into the bottom of the ocean and you're looking at a lake or a river flowing. It feels like you are not on this world. So what is so deadly about this lake? The water is five times saltier than the water in the Gulf of Mexico, and if a marine animal somehow ends up in the pool, they die instantly. The water in this pool isn't only saltier, it's also quite a bit warmer. It's about 65 degrees Fahrenheit compared to 39 degrees Fahrenheit in the rest of the Gulf of Mexico. That's why they added jacuzzi to the name, because it's warmer than the surrounding waters. The warmth of the pool attracts crustaceans, which die in the brine. If you look along the edge of the pool, you can see crab carcasses around the rim. The pool creates methane gas and hydrogen sulfide, so nothing can live in this brine except for the bacteria and specialized crustaceans and worms. Yes, it is possible for life to exist even in this pool of death. There's a type of giant mussel that lives in the pool that has a symbiotic bacteria living in their gills. This bacteria feeds off the hydrogen sulfide and methane gas, helping the mussels survive in it. This pool raises the question again, how is it possible for life to survive in conditions that are supposed to be uninhabitable? And if life can exist in this pool of death, can it also exist elsewhere in the universe? These findings were published in the science journal Oceanography. Alrighty now, now that the deadly lake business is out of the way, it's comment time! All right, first comment comes from Fake PewDiePie. Would you like to make babies with me, Charlotte? I actually already made some babies in the oven the other day, so I'm gonna wait until I'm finished eating those and then I'll get back to you. Cyan J said, Charlotte, why does your name sound like chocolate in Spanish if you make a Spanish accent? Does it? Choc, dark, choc. <laughs> Kevin Ferreira said, ever thought about going into porn? <laughs> No. And last comment comes from Ben Bannerman. This video is so fabulous. I actually have nothing to say to that. Just wanted to feature it because it's actually really funny. But anyways guys, thank you for your comments as always and I'll see you guys next time.